Hey guys, it's um Juju Six. Um, I decided to do an album review kind of differently, and this is probably gonna be my first negative album review about an album, but I just did it to get my opinion out there and have people um think about really um what I really think about this album and considering maybe some of the songs but not all of them. Um so here I go. I'm reviewing um Korn's newest album that came out in 2011 called The Path of Totality. Um first of all, they wanted to change their sound. Um, the lead singer apparently said that dubstep is the new metal. And they wanted to, you know, experiment by creating a dubstepy metal album. Well, <clears throat> listening to a good chunk of most of the songs, I did give pretty much most of the songs on this album a chance. And it really disappointed me, the album, this album. The songwriting is very different. It's not really as dark as the usual corn. Um, but when I say this, I say this with all due respect. This corn album is absolutely horrible. I think it's probably the worst album they've ever made. And I'm saying that because I'm a fan of their 90s music. I'm a fan of um, their, their self-titled album. I'm a fan of Life is Peachy. I'm a fan of Follow the Leader, like all those, the earlier albums from like the 90s. And some of the early 2000 albums are not that bad either, but they're a tad mainstream. Um, this just kind of totally goes against what Korn is. Um, I mean, it's sometimes it's a good thing when a band experiments and sometimes it's a bad thing, but this just sounded awful. Korn is known for... What stands out to me about Korn is the bass player has this cool slap bass technique and you can definitely hear the bass strong in most of Korn's uh, albums. This album, I didn't hear like any bass. I didn't even hear like any real musical instruments. All I could hear was dubstep music and um, Jonathan Davis's voice. That's all I could hear. And to me, that sounded like a dubstep album featuring Korn. So that's what it sounded like to me. It wasn't a, it's not a true Korn album. I don't hear any guitar, I don't hear any bass, I barely hear any drums. The only thing I hear that sounds like Korn to me is Jonathan Davis. And even his vocals itself, he's not doing the unique type things that he usually does in his songs. Sometimes he'll do that rapping, scatting vocal thing, which is very interesting. And I think it's very cool and unique, and I love it when he does that. A lot of his earlier songs, you can listen to them and he does that. But this um, album, he didn't really have any of that. Um, the only song that kind of stood out to me a little bit was Narcissistic Cannibal. And that's just because, like, the chorus is kind of easy to sing along to. It kind of sounds more like an early 2000s corn song with dubstep in it. And me not being a fan of dubstep, it made me hate this album a lot. It made me hate it because, number one, it's not what corn is known for or stands for at all. Number two, I hate dubstep, and all this album is is dubstep garbage. Um... If you're a big fan of dubstep, you'd probably like this album because it has Skrillex in it and has other dubstep artists in it. So you'd probably like it, to be honest. If you're a dubstep fan, that's okay. Listen to the album if you like, like dubstep. The only songs I would recommend you to listen to um, that are like corn dubstep is probably Narcissistic Cannibal and Get Up. Those are more popular, too, because Skrillex is playing in those, I think. So... But I honestly thought the album was total garbage. If you're a fan of old corn music, do not buy this album at all. Um, I totally recommend you not buying this album if you like old corn. Because this isn't old corn. This isn't even early 2000 corn. Like, 
it's just, it sounded like complete garbage to me. And I was completely disappointed. And I hope the next record they make, they don't do any more of this dubstep experimenting. I know it got, so half of the reviews people have done on this are good and half of them are bad. A lot of people that are like the true Korn fans don't like this album. A lot of people that are dubstep fans like this album. But me not being a dubstep fan, I didn't like it. I don't like dubstep or any type of techno music whatsoever. But if you do, check out this album. But I thought it was absolutely awful. I won't even give it a rating just because I can't do negative ratings because that's just not cool. But I'm sorry, Corn, if you're watching this, please go back to your old sound. Do not continue with dubstep. It makes all the old Corn fans very disappointed. Um, and that's all I really have for you guys. Um, I don't obviously have the physical copy of this album, so I can't do like a tour thing. And I'm not going to do track by track just because. I just li like breezed through the songs and didn't like any of them, so I don't have the physical copy, but I ha I did listen to it on like YouTube and stuff. Thought it was awful, so um yeah. And um so I guess also too to wrap this video up, um due to the messages I've been private messages I've been getting on YouTube, um people have been telling me that it would be cool if I did like classic reviews of like 2007, 2005 kind of albums, 2009. So I'm thinking of maybe doing an album um, review on Thousand Foot Crush's album, um, The Flame and All of Us. So comment on this video if you want me to do an album review on that. If not, I'll just think of something. But you'll probably expect more of a classic, older, non-recent album review maybe sometime next week. Till then, see you guys.